welcome to my channel. This is your friend Nerdy Dren, and today we are playing Subnautica. If you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. We're going to get right into it. So in the last video, we ended up on this uh, kind of like island over here to find this rendezvous point. So let's just go quickly take a look at that again. And that was like right over here. There was a little PDA that I grabbed. So next, I kind of want to take a look on this island. And then we are going to progress. Maybe go take a look at Life Pod 3 and see anything else we can find. And I hope everybody's doing really good today. It's This game has been so much fun and I'm so stoked to actually be playing it. I have yet to... I. Yeah, I'm shocked I've never played this game. Um, so many people have recommended it to me over the years, and I just never got the chance to actually give it the time of day. And now that I'm here, I am having an absolute blast. Uh, let's continue up this little path here. We're going to bring out our knife, just because. You never know what we're going to see up here. Oh, what's that up there? I think that's that's our goal. Let's go check that out. All right, we got all that scanned. Let's keep going. We found a cave here. What is in here? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that that doesn't look like a human made, does it? Let's try to continue down here and see if we can get closer to this thing. Interesting. Interesting. Very weird. Very, very weird. <laughs> okay, okay. This is kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Because, like... I'm assuming the fish didn't build this thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, whoa. What happens if I go through it? Nothing. Just like I suspected. Alright, alright. Is there something here we should know about? Check corners. Nothing. Nothing at all. It looked like the cave maybe expands out somewhere. No, it does not. We definitely need to know about this location. I might even have a beacon. No. Dang. I wish I I wish I kept my beacon on me. Oh, well, you learn. You live and learn. Okay. Um, hopefully we can find this place again when we... Uh, have a beacon on us and we can come back here stick a beacon and I'm sure I am positive that I will have to come back here later on in my playthrough so we will do that um, but we will try to continue past this and try to make it up because there was some sort of like living quarters up on the top of the mountain uh, I would like to see oh it seems like there's two of them very weird. Okay, uh, let's go over this way and hopefully we can make it over to one of them at least. And we have made it to this little pod. Can we get inside this at all? Looks like the door's open. Well, we're just going to welcome ourselves in here. Found some water. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. We're going to grab some of that lantern fruit and this other PDA here. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, and now we're going to try to make our way over to the other little habitat thing here. Oh, look at that. I see a third one. We're going to make our way down this mountain. And we are just getting over to this little guy. Oh, there is something. What are you? Oh, we met you already. Yeah, flipped you over. I love crab meat. Ugh, there's another one. You creepy little spider thing. <clears throat> spider crawler, cave crawler, whatever they want to call you. I don't like them. Ugh. Okay, he's done. Chinese potatoes. Let's grab a couple of those. Marble melon. I don't know why. That just sounds like it would be delicious. Another PDA. 
integrating new PDA data. And over here we got a purple tablet. Let's grab that. Whoa. Shiny. <laughs> uh, is there anything else we can get in here? Can we scoop our way through here? Nah. Maybe there might be another entrance. Let's see if we could jump on top of this. Ooh. A data box. I don't know about you, but Ultra Glide Fin sounds pretty good to me. Let's head down this thing. That was pretty quick. Battery. Okay. And uh, another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. All right. Let's take a look and see what we can find outside here. And then we're going to head up to the other one. Let's go check it out. And we have made it. Let's take a look in here. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. Cool. Anything else we can get out in here? Let's scan this plant pot. New blueprint acquired. Let's take a look here at the stuff we got. We got some food that we can actually eat uh, just because I'm kind of hungry. So let's just go ahead, eat all that, just make, make more room. Looks like all my fish has decomposed. We're going to get rid of all of it. Might as well eat this marble melon. Oh, I knew that would be delicious. <laughs> um, let's, uh, we're going to save this water until we really need it. Actually, it won't make a difference. We're just going to have to grab it, drink it right now. Spotlight. Acquired. I'm okay with that. Well, that's a nice view of Aurora. Cool. Okay, we are... I think we're done on this island. Uh, we're going to head back down to our sea moth. And uh, we're going to get out of here. Oh, <laughs> I took the quick way down, and that's okay. Our sea moth is a little... Uh, is a pretty nearby. And we are here. Hey, bud. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much, Seamoth. It's good to be back. Let's go for an adventure. And we have made it to our trusty habitat. Let's head in. Captain. Thank you very much, Habitat. I will never get tired of you saying hi to me, so thank you for that. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. Let's check out our signal. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Well then. We will adventure over there. We're going to quickly take a look and see if there's any uh, sort of upgrades we can make. And uh, I really like how I kind of left my sea moth just like flashing its light at my habitat because it kind of casts a shadow now. <laughs> I, I think it's cool. But let's uh, let's keep heading. Let's keep on keeping on. Oh, hi fish. How you been? All right. It looks like the next steps for us is to go ahead and search for one of these life pods. So let's take a look. Um, the, I'm going to go to the closest one, which is light pod 3. Oh, weird. Look at these things. We're getting pretty close to our uh, light pod that we're searching for. 
But look at that. What are you doing? Are you going to do something to me? I don't know. They look weird. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. What does that mean? A faint Altera vehicle signature? Is there, like, more... You know what? Let's leave our thing there and check this out. Let's see what we can find. I hope these things aren't going to try to hurt me. Let's check inside. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Ooh, we found a Cyclops hull fragment. I'll take that. I want to scan one of these things. Alright, maybe not. They don't like me. While we're here, we're going to try to... Ooh, look at this. A bridge fragment. Nice, I just need one more of those. And I guess I can make that piece. Look at this. We found something else here. A hull fragment. And I also just need one more of those. Since I already found one here. Ooh, creature egg. Let's take it. What's this? Lithium. I know I need that. Let's keep searching around here. This looks like something cool. A moon pool? Oh, cool. That looks like it would be really cool. I'm going to keep looking around here and see if I can find the other hull frag. I heard a sound. Seek fluid intake. Uh, oh no. Of course they didn't bring water. Of course. Okay, let's keep looking. I saw something that looks strange right here. The hull fragment. Cool. I think that's it, right? Yep. Super cool. I am okay with that. What am I hearing? Oh, it's one of these things. All right. Welcome aboard, Captain. It appears that our sea moth is suffering some damages. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to figure out a way to repair it. Actually, I bet you... Yep. Just a repair tool, does it? Awesome. And our Seamoth is back to 100%. Let's stop crashing this thing. How's that sound? <laughs> Actually, we are... Am I getting close to something? Alright. Yeah, we're gonna head back to our pod. Hey, let's get really close to one of these guys. Let's see what they're actually all about. We're in a sea moth now, so it shouldn't be so dangerous. Oh. Weird. All right, we're gonna just ignore it. Hello, our big friend. What do we what do we name this thing? Do we want to scan it? A reef back. Seek fluid intake immediately. A reef back Leviathan. Well then. Well, now I think we're not so scared of these things anymore. They kind of just hang out and travel. Kind of like what we do. We just hang out and travel. And I'm assuming they have just these little baby ones. Look at how cute they are. Aww. Little mini reef back. 
I love my reef back, reef back, reef back ribs. <laughs> and we are just getting back to our house. Let's uh quickly see if I have any water left in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. I do not. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Oh, that poor guy. Corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Well then. We'll have to go in adventure and try to find him. We're about 500 meters away from life on 19. And they are in the deep end. <laughs> All right. We just want to watch our back, you know. I don't like dark waters. We're going to try to get as close we can with the sea moth. Oh. Oh. Looks like we have found a little bit of a crashed site down here. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, we're just going to pull this up a little bit. And we're going to keep that facing this way. And we're going to go ahead and go for a little adventure and check out what we've got down here. Let's just make sure we're not being followed. A modification station fragment. Okay, I need one more of those. Hopefully we can find that around here as well. Oh, here it is. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm okay with that. New blueprint acquired. Okay, looks like I'm gonna need a laser so I can open some of these doors. A thermal plant. I like the sounds of that. Okay. What else we got here? Anything? Another piece for the thermal plant. And we have that now. Wicked. Thank you. What's this? A chair? I might already have that. I'm okay with that. Hey, look at our shadow. Hello. Let's see if there's anything under this little rubble. More thermal plant fragments. Looks like a radio over here. 30 seconds. All right, we don't have much air. We're going to head back to our life pod. Or I mean, our sea moth. And we are going to get closer and try to find our friend over here. I didn't really check out this rubble. Let's take a look in there, too. Looks like we still need the laser for that as well. We're going to swim the rest of the way and try to get closer to the um, second officer, Keen, over here. And it looks like we are just about there. Ooh, that glows nicely. All right, what do we got in here? We are looking for a PDA. I don't see it. I wonder if it's outside. An air bladder. I'll take that. Here it is. New blueprint 
required. I will gladly take that. Maybe this egg as well. I feel like there's more here, though. There's gotta be. I'll take gold. And that looks like the PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Awesome. Let's check these out. Some lead and silver. 30 seconds. Luckily, we found an air bladder. All right, let's head up here to our sea moth. And now we are going to make our way back to our habitat. And we are home. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, thank you so much, Habitat. And that will conclude today's video. In the next video, we'll continue to search for some more life pods and make more upgrades for our diving apparatuses. I'm your friend, Nerdy Dren, and until next time, stay nerdy.